dealing with the polynomials. If you're going to do this by hand, there's two different ways to do it. I'll kind of tell you what I would suggest, but it's completely up to you. All right, so let's say this is your problem. You're looking to add these two together. You can combine them either horizontally or vertically. Okay. If you're going to do something by hand, I think vertically is the way to go. It's much easier to coordinate all the like terms. But you can do it either way. Um, adding by uh, using kind of the horizontal method means as you rewrite these, you're going to try to write the pieces that correspond together. Okay, so you might write, rewrite it as 2x squared plus x squared. So you combine those like terms, move to the next pair of like terms, plus 8x minus 8x, and move to the last pair of like terms, plus 4 and a minus 2. So does everybody understand what I mean by like terms? I know you've heard it before, but do you understand what it means? It means that the degree of the term is the same, right? The coefficients will be different, possibly, but the degrees are the same. That represents like terms. Okay, so then now you can just go through, again, this horizontal method of combining these like terms. So what's 2x squared and x squared add up to? And then 8x and negative 8x cancel. And then plus 4 and a minus 2. And so that gives you your total. Okay, so if you have to do this without a calculator, um, what I would suggest is rather than do it the horizontal method here, it's easier often to stack them vertically. Okay, so if I were to rewrite this same problem, but instead of writing it out horizontally, write it so that the like terms are stacked vertically on, above each other, and then just work down your columns. So now as you combine these, we look down 3x squared, the 8x's cancel, plus 2. And again, it winds up with the same answer. It doesn't matter which form you use, but often it can be easier to do it this way. And now this is especially true when you're subtracting terms or expressions. And the reason is if I gave you something like this, Okay, if I ask you to combine these polynomials, so now you're subtracting. Okay, trying to do this, doing the adding horizontally, most of you would probably just go right to, you'd mentally combine these two terms, you'd mentally combine these two terms, and you'd just write your answer. You wouldn't even take this second step here. Okay, most students, if you're doing this mentally, you're going to do the same thing with this expression too when you're subtracting. And a lot of times, students will forget to distribute that negative correctly. Okay, so stacking these vertically is often a much easier way to approach this when you're subtracting. And the reason for that is when you distribute your negative through, basically subtracting is equivalent to what? Do you guys remember? How did you learn it? Adding the, Adding the opposites, right? So when you subtract this polynomial, you're simply going to add each individual opposite term. So what's the opposite of x squared? Okay, now, so when I look at this expression, do I want to write that x squared under this first term? No, we want to li write it under the like term. So minus x squared, what's the opposite of 2x? And then the opposite of negative 3. Okay, and so what I've done here is I've stacked vertically like terms. And so now when I combine them, I just work down our, the column, 3x cubed minus 3x squared minus x plus 3 to get your uh, final solution on this. Now again, the nice thing, using your calculators, all of this can be done for you, right? So if you just write down exactly what you have, so 3x cubed minus 2x squared plus x, and we're going to subtract that from the quantity x squared plus 2x minus 3 and hit enter. It simplifies it for you. It puts it into standard form for you. And so you should be good here. If for some reason the answer they gave you was written as factor, so it had multiplication in it, 
you would need to use the expand function in the F2 tab, the algebra tab. Right? But that's uh, something that's relatively easy to do as well. All right. The last thing, or questions on that, adding and subtracting.